Ahem. Welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. My name is Ethan Van Skyver, 26-year veteran of this comic book industry, world's most charming, elegant, eloquent, and yet humble man, great big Star Wars fan, trusted member of the media. Um, so, it uh, looks like uh, Disney Star Wars is Dumb has another article involving me uh, today. Thank you, Ichibaka. Uh, Pablo Hidalgo, where indeed did your balls go, uh, joins the action figure activism against Ethan Van Skyver. Oh, no. Well, uh, let me explain. Uh, a long time ago, maybe a year ago, uh, I made a video in which I uh, took a pair of scissors to a Rose Tico action figure because, um, well, there were too many of them uh, and I needed to thin out the herd. Uh, it was just for a video. It was just for fun. But I learned something about SJWs and I learned something about uh, human woodchucks like Pablo Hidalgo, who are among them. They treat objects like women. They literally think uh, that hunks of plastic shaped like women are the same thing as women and disrespecting plastic in the shape of a woman uh, is the same as disrespecting a woman itself especially when said woman um, is an SJW icon such as Rose Tico or more recently and more potently Brie Larson's Captain Marvel uh, imagine my surprise imagine my shock uh, I grew up in a world where uh, I saw Barbie dolls being defaced and destroyed all the time on TV and in movies. Uh, I, I remember seeing punk rock icons wearing necklaces of Barbie doll heads, and I never heard uh, Pablo Hidalgo saying anything about that. Indeed, he kept very, very quiet. Uh, but now, uh, once uh, an innocent person like myself uh, takes a picture... Well, first of all, look, here's the, here's the thing. Uh, Hasbro is selling these Captain Marvel action figures uh, pre-decapitated. That was the point that I wanted to make. Brie Larson's head has already been removed from the shoulders of the action figure, and they put this other head on there instead, and I, I wanted to help out. Now, was I trolling? Of course I was. These people still have not gotten over the fact that I made that video clipping a Rose Tico doll in half. Not a doll. Why, do I, why am I using their terminology now? Uh, indeed, Star Wars fans know they are called action figures. Males, men, who used to be boys in the 1970s and 80s, know that these are called action figures. They're not called dolls. Uh, and yet they do they do continually call them dolls. Uh, so uh, surprised, so shocked am I uh, that these people... Uh, who are willing to abort babies, living babies, uh, the second they come out of the womb, the second they are born, um, and seem to have no trouble with that, call them clumps of cells, uh, are outraged, outraged uh, over the idea of cutting an action figure in half. Uh, I can't relate to this. I don't know what they're talking about. But I will, uh, I will read their thoughts, and I will try to empathize with these uh, weirdos. And they are very, very weird. This is a weird thing. Most adults... Um, throw action figures away. You know, when they when they get underfoot, uh, your kids have toys that they don't want, you throw them in the garbage. Uh, evidently, that would be like um, abandoning a human being to an SJW. Uh, let me check this out here. Uh, Ichibaka says, when one SJW says something, all other SJWs within the collective are required to recite that same thing over and over again. Indeed, this is part of the programming uh, that we talk about. This is what uh, SJWs and NPCs do. They are like a school of fish. Remember when I made that analogy yesterday? They're like a school of fish. They all swim together in the same way. They follow the current. They follow the tide. Uh, and they all react, respond to the same stimuli uh, in the exact same way. They are very, very interesting creatures. But they are creatures. And they must. Uh, you must remind yourself of that. SJWs are not people. Uh, therefore, since one SJW remarked about Ethan Van Skyver harmlessly cutting off the head of a plastic action figure, which I have done, I, I confess. Uh, all other SJWs in the collective are required to remark on it as well. SJW Spider-Man, uh, who is my stalker and who has an entire Twitter page devoted uh, to um, propagandizing against me, how many of you, uh, by show of hand in the audience, have um, at least one person on Twitter who spends his entire life Propaganda propagandizing against you. How many people? See any hands? Uh, hit F in the chat. Uh, very few of you, I guess. Very few of you do. If you do, actually say something uh, in the comments. I would appreciate it. Uh, I do. I have several people like that. SJW is one of them. Uh, 
All right, so he made the following comment, not understanding that the Captain Marvel in the, in the package is just a piece of lifeless plastic. I know it's shaped uh, like an annoying person, but it is not an annoying person. It's just an annoying piece of plastic. Subsequently, Pablo Hidalgo uh, rose to the occasion and joined his fellow collective drones. Look at his face. I've never seen Pablo Hidalgo smile before. I like it. <laughs> he looks like a big kid. You can picture him as a kid. It's funny. Uh, let me go. All right. Hold on. Uh, Pablo Hidalgo rose to the occasion and joined his fellow collective drones in mandatory solidarity as they fought together for new strides in action figure, figure civil rights. I'm so glad that somebody is. I'm really glad. Now, I do respect some action figures and their uh, inherent God-given rights. As you can see on my wall here, I've got Crib. Uh, I've got St. Walker. Uh, over there's Atrocitus. Over here is uh, Sinestro and Shark. I respect their rights. Uh, I think they do have uh, rights to um, life. Li oh, they're not alive. Oh, they're encased in plastic, so they have no liberty. Uh, and I don't care if they're happy either. So I guess action figures don't have rights. And if I uh, wanted to, I would cut them all in half. Uh, but I don't want to because these particular ones have value uh, to me, sentimental value, uh, because I designed them. Uh, and also, they have monetary value. People actually want them. They're rare. They're worth a lot on eBay. Captain Marvel toys and Rose Tico toys are valueless and contain no sen uh, sentimental value for anyone uh, except for probably Brie Larson and Kelly Marie Tran, possibly, uh, but nobody else cares. All right, so here is uh, SJW Spider-Man. Uh, he says, guys, I think Ethan Van Skyver has a problem with women. I do. I do have a problem with women. The SJW kind, they will not leave me alone. Pablo Hidalgo says, yeah, check. He has a problem with women. Uh, check, he has a problem with scissors. And check, he has a problem with deadlines. Well, I'll tell you, deadlines and women were both made to be broken. Pablo, you are sort of correct, uh, but uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily, uh, you know, think that this had much to do with that. Uh, I'm curious to know, says Ichibaka, how Pablo uh, would react to my suggestion that Ethan dump a bucket of unsold Ticos into a plastic shredder to be entertained by the mass SJW aneurysms. Hmm. Now, that would be interesting. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want to get like a t-shirt gun and fill it with Rose Tico action figures and shoot them around Star Wars Celebration. You know, hey, you, who wants a Tico? Hands up for a Tico. Uh, and, you know, just let everyone have a Tico. I have plenty of them. I just don't have a Rose Tico, you know, one of those t-shirt guns, a Rose Tico gun. Uh, that is what I need. I don't need to destroy them. I want to hand them out to the joy of uh, Tico files everywhere. And I'm telling you right now, uh, we have quite a few Tico paths in this audience. I see you out there. I also have to wonder if rich people, the rich people that Pablo may or may not want to kill with his fetish for guillotines, uh, are as fake and plastic as this Captain Marvel action figure. Ooh, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by that, Ichibaka. Let's go back and revisit some of Pablo Hidalgo's callous, psychopathic, uh, you know, desires his his tweets. Pablo Hidalgo might want to kill just the rich on May Day. Pablo, do you need a loan? Uh, caution, read this with extreme skepticism, it says. Be skeptical about this. I have to put that disclaimer up because this is so bizarre, says a Chewbacca, that I can't be sure I'm interpreting what I'm seeing correctly, or indeed if it's even real. Um, Approach everything with SJWs with extreme skepticism then because I can't believe uh, they're upset about cutting action figures in half. I thought they were just joking. Uh, these people are serious. They are seriously weird. Uh, they consider it to be a very odd thing and not just, uh, uh, you know, a kind of a uh, fun little gag uh, to cut an action figure in half. They, they see that as the destruction of a real human being. Um, so I have trouble with that. I have trouble accepting that. I, I have trouble coexisting uh, with people like that. Uh, and uh, I'm, I, I'm sure this is going to be equally, if not more so, uh, upsetting. So please be certain to do your own research to either confirm or debunk this, because I could be in error here. That's why Ichibaka is a number one journalist. He says, There are some who feel that politics aren't an issue within Lucasfilm. The criticism of SJWs and or feminists just makes uh, 
just makes fans look bad and that we're getting into tinfoil uh, hat stuff here. Well, let's take a look at the Twitter feed of the current brand communications manager on the Lucasfilm story group, Pablo Hidalgo. Um, on May 1st, 2018, also known as May Day to communist activists, communist activists, Pablo Hidalgo retweeted the following. And here's the, the tweet that he retweeted. It says, May Day, hashtag May Day, just got real. Okay, uh, here's a screen cap. Uh, this is a person walking around with a guillotine. A guillotine. That is a, a French instrument, instrument of execution. Uh, and you put your head here. There's no place to put your... Well, you'd put your head down here. You can't really see it. And the blade would come down and cut your head off. And it would go into a bucket. And, and then somebody would pick up your head and smack it in front of the audience. It's a pretty humiliating way to die. Uh, later, another person in the same thread asked... Uh, are you advocating killing people you disagree with politically, Pablo? Uh, are you? To which Pablo replied, of course not. Just the rich. Pablo Hidalgo just wants to murder wealthy people. Wealthy people. Wealthy action figures? Action figures who are well-to-do, who are maybe born into money? Does Pablo Hidalgo support uh, the execution of um, action figures uh, with a great big stock portfolio and a bright future ahead of them? Um, yes, or no, no, just actual human beings, uh, so just the rich. Uh, he doesn't specify uh, if the rich include wealthy upper management working within the higher levels of Lucasfilm and or Disney. Does he mean Bob Iger? Was this a threat against Bob Iger? Was this a threat against Kathleen Kennedy? Was it a threat against Ryan Johnson, who I'm sure has a few dollars in the bank? Does George Lucas, Bob Iger, not Dave Iger, Kathleen Kennedy qualify as rich to Pablo? Does Harrison Ford qualify as rich given his reportedly hefty payday for The Horse Awakens? Only Pablo knows at this point. So Pablo, I, I would ask you, do you want to kill your employers? Do you want to kill uh, some of the cast of Star Wars The Force Awakens because it's May? Well, it's not May yet, but May's coming up. It's now April. We've got one month. The clock is ticking until Pablo Hidalgo murders again. Uh, I want to point out here that the guy who might want to kill the rich is the same man in charge of writing Star Wars stories for what Freddie Prince Jr. might refer to as younger, a younger demographic. So all of the social justice lectures from Rose Tico about the evils of rich people suddenly gain more context. Now, it's entirely possible that I'm making a terrible mistake here and that this isn't the same Pablo Hidalgo of the Lucasfilm Story Group, but I see that Mark Hamill is following him, so I don't know what other Pablo Hidalgo it could possibly be. I don't either. I, I, I think you've done your homework here, Itchy. I think you figured it out. Um, all right, so... Uh, here we go. Plus, Freddie Prince Jr. tweeted this to the Pablo Hidalgo account. So this was even before uh, this this article came out. Way before uh, Ichibaka was carefully watching uh, what Pablo Hidalgo was up to. Uh, now you now we have to watch Pablo Hidalgo. We have to watch him uh, like a hawk uh, because May is coming up, and that is that is murder time. All right, let's go back again. Uh, and I think um, uh, this is true. Uh, this is a picture of a shopping cart from the Dollar Tree. Uh, these action figures now cost $1. They are virtually valueless. At this point, you can buy them uh, for close to what it costs to produce them. Uh, and again, what else are we supposed to do with all this crap? Nothing except for cut them in half with scissors and throw them away. The only thing that Star Wars uh, action figures and indeed Captain Marvel, Brie Larson action figures are good for at this point is a cheap laugh. Uh, from an audience that's drunk and watching Comic Artist Pro Secrets in the middle of the night. And I promise you uh, that no, no number of uh, gigantic man varmints like Pablo Hidalgo will stop me uh, from performing that sacred duty for you, my audience. I love you. Star Wars Celebration just around the corner. It's time to start making Star Wars videos again. This is going to be the first. I'm going to make another one in just a minute. Thanks, everyone. Uh, if you have not yet backed... Uh, Cyberfrog Blood Honey, do that. Uh, the link is in the description. Get your copy of Cyberfrog Blood Honey while you still can. It goes to print at the end of this month, at the end of April. April 30th or 31st? Let me flip the calendar. I didn't do that yet. Uh, 30th. April 30th. It's going to print. And you're going to want to get your copy. Um, also, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Share this video. Let Pablo Hidalgo see it if he wants to. Um, but let other people see it too. 
uh, maybe maybe let the police see it. May is coming up, uh, and uh, that's a, a, a it's a frightening thing at this point. It feels a little bit threatening. Um, uh, also, make sure you're still subscribed. YouTube randomly unsubscribes loyal viewers like you. Uh, make sure they haven't done that to you. That would be very callous. That would be an act of violence. Certainly, certainly a lot more bloody and cruel than cutting a Captain Marvel figure in half. Hey, I got a P.O. Box. Want to send me some mail? Send it to Ethan Van Skyver, P.O. Box 607, Marlton, New Jersey, 08053. And I'll probably open it up on the live stream. Thanks very much, everyone. Hey, you want to follow me on Twitter? Are you sure? Well, if so, I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. That's at Ethan Van Skyver. See you there. Hello, potential Indiegogo backers. Hello, friends. My name is Ethan Van Skyver. I'm a comic book creator who worked for 20 years for Marvel and DC Comics on books like Green Lantern, Flash, Superman, Batman, and X-Men. But before that, I had a comic book called Cyberfrog. Now, Cyberfrog lasted from 1993 to 1998, and then it stopped when I went to go work for DC Comics. Now I want to tell the story of where Cyberfrog has been for the last 20 years. I want to write, pencil, ink a book called Cyberfrog Blood Honey that tells the story of gigantic alien hornets that come to Earth and conquer it, sending Cyberfrog into deep hibernation, where he emerges now in the year 2018 into a completely alternate reality, a new world where these hornets have taken over, devastated humanity, using human skin to make gigantic wasp hives and harvesting human blood to make honey to feed their young very few humans still exist. But it's up to Cyberfrog to save what's left of humanity and turn back the damage that's been done by these wasps with his brother Salamandroid and his friend Heather Swain. I want you to help me do this. We're going to get colors by Kyle Ritter. He's a fantastic colorist and he's going to make this book sing. Uh, I'd like this to be a 48 page one shot prestige format part one of four. So I'm asking you to help me launch the very first Cyberfrog Blood Honey epic graphic novel. Are you in? Will you help me? I hope so. Let's get this frog jumping again. If you enjoyed this video and want to become part of this community, subscribe to this channel by clicking the Laughing Man Face logo right on your screen. Ring the bell for notifications as well. You'll never miss a live chat. And stay tuned, another video by Comic Artist Pro Secrets is coming right up.